Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I have my June Bride Egg Machine 2021, despite being 2022, times five pulls, because if you do receive 900 or more EP in the current eight player multiplayer dungeon, you will get five free pulls in an otherwise underwhelming event. I don't recommend rolling in June Bride, aside from this particular machine, which is again earned from eight players. So if you haven't done your eight player thus far, it's in your best interest to go do so. And at this point in time, it seems not many people are playing. So sometimes I just had two people in the room total, including myself. So I'm guaranteed top two. And that feels good inside getting 80 EP, regardless of my performance. But with that being said, there is always that chance that you get the diamond. And in this case here, a diamond that glows bigger and bigger and bigger is actually an indication of something more magical because that means seven star or higher and this event here seven star or higher is quite exciting so hopefully it is diamond 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 okay there's two nice three nice diamonds give me the dumb it is new oh it's exciting and new oh i don't know how excited it's gonna be oh it's such good drama oh it's persephone isn't it it's okay i got a pretty girl I always enjoy pretty girls in this game. That's totally why I play this game. Not because my favorite color is blue or I like dragons. But three turns of attribute absorption on a blitzing five turn cooldown. Because why not, eh? If I guess that there's a dungeon with attribute absorption after attribute absorption, it can be quite exciting. Like It's an exceptionally low cooldown. And then lots of orbs change to dark. Okay, there's still two more diamond eggs. There is that chance. There is that chance. Something exciting! Glow bigger! Bigger! Okay, this is a good time. Of the, this is a great time when the animation is meaningful. Hey, I think that's Parvati. And if I'm not mistaken, that would be an orb skin. This is way better than what Fantastic rolled. I don't know if I even... I got, like, Bastet three times, I think. Two or three times I got Bastet was painful. My first Parvati. Alrighty. Look at all that big damage for Nautilus teams. Maybe Celica might move over. Who knows? Actually, oh, glow for me again. Oh, this is so exciting. So exciting. There's seven stars. It's hard to roll. Oh, what the fish. This is a meaningful roll for this account. Because right now, sure, three is, you know, all the rage. And you need all attributes for that dungeon. Wow, Gungo just gave me like $60 worth of orb skins. This is nuts. But yeah. Wedding Trailo is actually a great mono red card if you need light attribute coverage especially. If you don't own Pop you or Han Solo, you could be popping off with Wedding Trailo because it's another partial cleric. A partial cleric is meaningful because there are many times, I'm going to use Sure 3 as an example because it's current. On floor 3, you receive Hard Unmatchable. Floor 4, Awoken Bind. You need to deal with these problems or you're going to die. With Wedding Trailo, you can solve the unmatchable and then have your real cleric clear the Awoken Binds. Great possibilities are definitely opened up for yourself if you have this card. I don't even have this on my main account. It's a card I've been wanting for some time to a certain extent. It's like, I would want it, but do I really want to spend money on it? So yeah, two orb skins. Thank you, Gung Ho. This is fantastic overall. Definitely YouTubeable. With that being said, do your eight player PvP dungeon because you know there is a chance you can completely luck out and actually get meaningful rolls. So, yeah, definitely no interest in rolling Bride Machine now, eh? With that being said, hopefully, all you lovely ladies and gentlemen have a truly fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck your own pad adventures and happy puzzling.